All right, welcome back, everybody. This is part three of Project Gorgon. We are continuing our journey on Anagog Island, trying to look for the four obelisks so we can attempt to get off this island. Um, so let's see what we can do. Apparently, I can move the user interface around, which is kind of nice because I'm having trouble seeing everything. First off, I have to say, I actually really enjoy this game. I think the dialogue is absolutely fantastic. And for just like a couple, a duo that made this game, it is pretty impressive. I mean, regardless of the graphics, it runs beautifully. Ooh, look, an obelisk. You might want to write stuff down in your notepad. Well, would you look at that? They give us a little notepad to write our our um, hints in. That's kind of nice. The second digit is nine. I like the music too. <laughs> Rigger, how you doing, buddy? I don't know. I mean, I don't even want to escape. <laughs> yeah. I do. You can stay here and be all sad, Rigger. Why won't Rigger let me read his book? Oh, this old thing. Well, the, the bed is mine. You can sleep on the porch. <laughs> They're just some crones that come by every month or two. They'll leave a few bodies in the sand. Sometimes they leave us food. <laughs> no idea if they wanted to keep LP. <laughs> this is funny. Just swim to Sir Bully. Well, I'm gonna get the Sir Bully the normal way. Rigor. I don't have to swim. I'm better than that. And it just got really quiet in this game. Crab. You ring the bell. The sound carries. Mm. But nothing happens.
one just... Ooh, a dummy. So the dummy can only be harmed by a specific damage type, and that certainly is not bludgeoning or piercing. So I imagine that it's not immune to magic. Of course, I don't know any magical abilities at this point in time, so... I guess I won't have a passing grade. Obelisk. The third digit is one. I just want to quickly say that I found out later that there is a little puzzle on this side of the island that will get you an ability to tame a rat. It's basically this puzzle with these frames and they have to be activated in a particular order and if you activate them in the correct order you'll get this ability to uh, tame a rat. Ooh. What is this? Ooh, this is a nice place. That thing is all messed up. Oh, you know, this is the place where you can get the big head curse if you go down the wrong corridor. Hello, sir or madam. Fallback mode, I'm unable to process visual input. Please identify yourself. Greetings, Khaleesi. Alumni are only allowed to visit with proper supervision. Please leave immediately. Very good. How may I be of service? Location uncertain. I am a records custodian. My piece of work is Records Hall, Storm Mar Academy. I have been moved to an undisclosed location by authorized representative. Correct. Khaleesi attended Stonemar Academy. No, no, no great information is available. Please visit the records hall. I have attendance information which indicates that Khaleesi did not attend her graduation ceremony. Conjecture. You may have been indisposed at the time. You may have failed to graduate. You may have refused to attend for petty emotional reasons. I was moved by an authorized representative. Conjecture. Academy grounds may be dangerous. I may have been expelled due to misbehavior. I may be leaking dangerous magic that could harm others. I am not capable of determining the answer to that question. All self-diagnostic tools are broken. Well, this place is surely interesting. Welcome visitor here. Access to Crackle artifacts and to restricted Crackle right. <laughs> Passageway. If you go down that passageway, you're gonna get the big head curse. <laughs> That's our third obelisk. One more. 
The digit is eight. That was definitely my phone, I think. Ooh, dino. Look at me getting all these new abilities. I am proud of myself. I think you can see these obelisks on the map if you look for like their shape. So that's the the pad where you're going to leave the island from. We just need to find that fourth obelisk. Yeah, you can see them on the map. The first digit is six. Going back to Elmitaf. And let's get this show on the road. After I kill this one. Oh, 
I have so much stuff in this inventory. Yes, I have the numbers. Woohoo! Let's get my trusty notebook. I know the first is six. Second is nine, one, and eight. Okay, great. I think that's all I need. Wait, are you 100% sure you have the correct numbers? Hell yeah, I'm confident. Do it. Oopsies, the cats took my attention away <laughs> right when I was telling him to do it. It's done. Now you really should be going. I need to nap. <laughs> I remember you talking on and on about your special friend. I got the impression it was quite serious, but that was back in your academy days. Um, would that have been a boy or a... Huh. A girl, do you think? The answer you choose will, will be important for plot later things. Okay. Ah oh, yes, that was years ago, but who knows? Perhaps you broke up, or perhaps your family is waiting somewhere for you. Wouldn't that be nice? Mm -hmm, I guess you're right, but he would know things about your past, even if your romance is over. He might still be useful to talk to. If you want to find him, you should make your way to Stadium. That's a long way from here, but it's where the council records the keepers. The council record keepers are. <laughs> Alright, we are ready to get off this island. We have a few more things we have to do, like cheer up rigor and find the spoons, but we're ready. We're going to stop part three here, guys, though, and we will continue this next time.